What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another video. So this right here is where the adventure begins. I'm gonna be walking out onto this jetty right now and as soon as I step foot on there, I'm gonna be staying there for the next 24 hours, catching as many fish as I can and cooking them up out on that jetty. Gonna be shark fishing later on tonight, hopefully getting a couple big fish. I've caught heaps of big fish off this jetty before and I've never seen anyone actually do a challenge like this. I'm gonna be using different baits, different rods, different lures, different everything, just to try and catch as many species as I can over the next 24 hours. I used to stay out on this jetty until like 4 a.m. fishing for sharks all the time. So it's nothing new to me. I've got my hammock out there and a heap of different gear to help me out with this. So I say we step onto this jetty right now and let the challenge begin. Before we actually get into the fishing part of this challenge, what I'm going to show you is all the gear that I've actually bought out here. I bought a heap of rods, a heap of different stuff to help me out with this challenge. So I'll talk you through it right now. So I've decided to narrow it down to four rods that I'm going to be using to target different species of fish. The first one is the big one, the big shark rod. Pen Battle 2 8000, it's got 60 pound line on it. And I've caught some massive sharks in here on this rod before. So we'll get that out there with a big live bait. Bit of a smaller shark rod, could also be used for jacks or whatever. A bait runner 8000, gonna be running a big circle hook, big sinker, wire trace. And I'm telling you right now, I think that one's gonna go off later on tonight. And now for the smaller stuff. Since we're gonna actually catch and cook up some fish, I'm gonna chuck some baits out there for maybe some big jacks, pretty much whatever takes it. Hopefully gonna be getting some live potty mullet out there. Then I've got a really small combo running 10 pound line that I'm hopefully gonna be able to catch something that I can cook up, like a flathead, brim, trevally, something like that. This is what I'm gonna to use to flick lures the whole time. And that is all the rods that I have. I've got a crab pot so that if we do catch some big stuff in the cast net, we'll chuck it in there and hopefully get a mud crab that we can cook up tomorrow morning. I bought out a cast net to catch some live bait, which will hopefully produce some good fish. Then I got a couple things to cook up the fish, got some water, mozzie spray, and then all my camera gear, and that's about it. So I say right now we get into the fun stuff. We actually start cast netting for some bait, get the rods out there, and hopefully catch some good fish. I'm actually pretty keen. The challenge has officially begun. Right here. Take a look at that. Swimming right underneath me. Just a juvenile eel tail catfish. Get it back in there. Chuck him in there. We'll just grab one of these out, chuck him on his bait. Just a little garfish, we'll hook him right through the top. So he can just continue to swim around like that and hopefully we'll get a big jack. While we wait for that one to hopefully go off, I'm gonna have a flick with this plastic until we get a fish. Yep, there we go. What is it? It's a flatty. Oh. Shaking his head, we'll get him up anyway. He's not legal, but that's all right. It's still good to get a fish. So yeah, just a little flatty right there. It's cool to get a couple different fish off the jetty today though, but we're still looking for something to eat. There's a mark over on the sand over there where a flatty was laying before. So I'm just gonna walk over there, compare this flatty to that one, see how big it is, because I know it's gonna be in this area somewhere and we might even be able to catch it. See, look how tiny this one is, and look at that flathead mark right there. That is a big flathead, probably at least, I'd say about 60 centimeters or so. And he is sitting just out around this area, I can tell already. Yeah, look at that compared to that one. All right, we'll get you back in the water, buddy. There we go. Yeah, we've hooked up to something here. Oh, 
I've got no clue. Oh, no way. Would you have a look at that? A little pike eel. Oh, that is so cool. And that is gonna be my shark bait. If we can get him up here. And would you take a look at that absolute weird looking creature right there. Now this is known as a pike eel and I've caught some absolute monsters in this canal before. I'll roll you a clip of the biggest one I've caught in here. That was just off this jetty while I was shark fishing late at night. Oh, take a look at that. That is an actual living dinosaur just in this canal right here. Who would have thought that something this big would be swimming around? And I've actually heard stories of these pike eels growing up over four meters long, which is just crazy. That's bigger than any of the bull sharks that would be in these canals. And this is the species that these bull sharks would be feeding on. Now this one is much smaller, but what I'm gonna do is there's no way I'm eating this thing. <laughs> there is just no way. So what I'm gonna do instead is these guys are great shark bait. So this gives me an excuse to get the shark rods out there, wait here overnight and hopefully get a big bull shark. Well, there's my hook back and here, is my bait that it is just devoured. Chuck that one back in. And then we'll chuck it in there like that. And then we'll just drop it straight down off the side there like that. Put the hook through the top there. And there's a big shark bait that I'm gonna send out in a second. I am pretty keen for tonight. I reckon we might be able to get a shark. Let's get it out there. all the way out there, chuck it down like that, and when we get a run, we'll know we've got a shark on. Yep, there we go. Oh, we're hooked up here. That feels like a good fish, actually. Hopefully that's not a stingray. Oh, big flatty, big flatty. That's actually a good one. Oh, look at that. Taking out line there. I'm just waiting for him to go on a big run, hey. I think it's wrapped. Oh. <sighs> look at him. That is actually an all right fish, hey. He would, I would say he'd be 60. <sighs> Come on, are you gonna fight or what? <laughs> right. Oh, I cannot let this fish get away. Should we get him in the net? Or just be safe and go over to the shore? Oh. He could spit it any second now. All right, so we're just gonna get him in the net. Yes! And take a look at that right there. That is a big dusky flathead. And I reckon that is gonna be my lunch. How good is that? That is a good fish. It was only a matter of time before we got a good one. And take a look at that absolutely cracking fish right there. All right, so we'll get this hook out. There we go, come straight out like that. And take a look at that big fella right there. That right there is a dusky flathead, and that right there is gonna be my lunch. We're gonna get some massive fillets off this big fella. So you know that little flathead that I caught before and put inside that bigger flathead hole? I reckon that was this guy, because I caught this big fella probably about five meters or so away from where that big print is. So that just proves they don't move too far from where they're sitting. So what I'm gonna do now, get this guy in the net, keep on fishing, see what else we can catch. And yeah, they are such a cool looking fish. They're one of my favorite fish to catch because not only will they literally hit everything, I've come out here one time using lolly snakes as lures and I've caught these guys. They'll literally hit anything that goes in front of them, but they do fight pretty hard. But yeah, not bad, not bad at all. That is so cool. I say we get the rods back out there, keep on fishing, see what else we can catch, but that is a good start to the 24 hour jetty challenge right there. What I thought I'd do is since we got this big flathead earlier, I've been keeping him in the net, but now I'm gonna take some fillets off of him, make a bit of a fish wrap for my dinner. So just slicing just under the skin, down the side here, all the way down to its tail, down the underside as well. And then we'll grab the skin, tear it all the way off. Bit of burly, mate. And then, final step, just to cut all the meat off, just like that. So there's one fillet taken off. Now, I'm gonna give the other one to my dad up at the house so he can cook that up, because this is more than enough for me to eat for dinner tonight. 
So what we'll do now is we'll get the gas cooker going and cook them up. So we'll just chuck all these in there, mix them around, see if we're cooking up a mud crab as well. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's a massive one. Oh, that thing is huge. There's two gone. I'll just show you this big one that we got right here. And the way that I can tell it's a female is see this big oval shape just there. The males have more of a triangular shape and it's illegal to take these females here in Australia. These guys are the ones that actually under here when they're reproducing can carry hundreds of thousands of eggs at one given time. Nice. There we go. Now the sun is about to go down at the moment and I am pretty keen for what could happen later on tonight. I want to catch a bull shark out of my backyard. I reckon that would be pretty cool. Chuck that one there. One more. All right, there we go. So they've been cooking for a bit now, so we'll just flip them over. The weather has been so on and off today. It's been raining, then the sun's come out. And it's just gone back and forth, but it's looking like a good day at the moment. The sun's just going down. But yeah, I'm just keen to eat this chill out for the day, set up my sleeping bag, and I'll probably end up just staying up and fishing all night. We'll see what happens. Freshest flathead that you can get. Bit of lemon onto it. Shocker. <laughs> out of all the meals that I've ever eaten, that was the most recent. So I'm just gonna finish off this fish wrap, keep on fishing into the night and see what else we can catch. The sun's gone down, it's fully cleared up into a good day, so I'm pretty keen. Let's get into it. Wonder what this is. Fingers crossed it's not a stingray. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm being honest with you, it's not looking good, hey? Feels very stingy. I was actually getting pretty worried. I hadn't caught a stingray or an eel tail catfish in my video yet, so I guess that's what this challenge was about. Just catching as many different types of fish as we possibly can. And there we go. He's a healthy looking stingray though. One of my favorite species for sure. And off he goes. Ladies, buddy. That's pretty cool. Another species onto the list. Just before it gets dark, I'm gonna have one last throw of the cast net to hopefully get a heap of mullet because these guys are really good shark bait along with that pike eel. That's gonna get some mullet. There's like six different species in that one cast. Mullet, brim, silver bitties, heron, a little bluefin. We are 100% getting a big bull shark tonight. I am getting so keen right now. I'll just quickly set up my sleeping bag just on the jetty right here while we still got some light with us. Now, we just wait to hear that rod go off. Yep, run, 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 run. So we're just getting a run here at the moment. If it goes again, I'm gonna hook it. Where's the camera? Yep. We've hooked up here. That actually feels all right. As long as it's not a pike eel. So, we've got a bull shark here. If you just film down here, you'll be able to see him. And take a look at what we got right here. A little canal bull shark. Probably at around 80 centimeters or so. So what I'm gonna do, pull him in here, grab him by the tail, and get him up on the deck. Take a look. Oh, at my rod getting pulled in the water. <laughs> Ooh, oh. He's come back around. We've hooked him perfectly in the corner of the mouth. So. If I can get a good grab at his tail, which I should be able to. There we go. Take a look at that. So I'm just gonna get the hook out, teach you a bit about him, and then send him back on his way, back out into the canal. Take a look at that little fella right there. What an awesome little creature. Oh, you can see his teeth just poking out there at the moment. So although we did get a couple of runs earlier today, we didn't actually hook up because this time right here, just after dark is when these sharks are coming out and they're most active. They're just hunting around here, 
feeding on little mullet, little fish, anything they can get their hands on. Even that little stingray that I caught before is definitely on the menu for these bull sharks. But these guys are one of my favorite species. Something you have to be careful of. I literally have never seen anyone swimming in this canal and for good reason. I've caught some big sharks up here, but it's cool to get a couple every now and then, teach you a bit about them and then send them on their way. I'm literally catching bull sharks out of my own backyard at the moment. How cool is that? And what an awesome little specimen that we got up close to the camera. So I say what we do now, get him back in the water, get the lines back out there and see how many more we can catch. We've got all night tonight, I'm staying out here. So take a look at that little fella right there, little juvenile canal bull shark. So we don't want to keep this fella out of the water for too long. My battery just ran out on my camera. So we're going to get him back in and keep on fishing. Come down here. Oh, he's ready. Just swimming for a sec. And then one big push, and off he goes. Look at that. Coming right back around underneath the jetty. We should see him around here. There we go. Take a look at that. Shark rod. Yep, it's running. So that right there just proves that these sharks are biting. I'm gonna get it back out there and hopefully the same shark will take it. But it wasn't long before something else took my bait. So we're just getting a run here. Yep. We're hooked up here. And that is a big shark. I'm hooked up to a massive shark. Quickly come down. Oh, it's a pike eel. Nice. That was fighting so hard. I was convinced this was a shark before. This fought harder than the shark that we caught earlier. But ready? Take a look at this absolute river monster right there. Bring him up. Look at that. Wow. That is some kind of giant hay. They are such crazy looking creatures. Crazy to think that these guys are just swimming around in these canals, eating anything they can. We're committed. Oh. You can see that massive bulge in his stomach. That's from the mullet that I actually casted out there. So it's not a bull shark. It's getting a bit later on. We're gonna get it back out there. Hopefully get a little shark. There's some clouds coming over though. So it's about one o'clock in the morning at the moment. Now today has been the single coolest day so far. We've caught so many species off this jetty right here. I'm getting pretty tired at the moment, but honestly, how cool. Catching all my bait in the cast net, getting the massive flattered pike eels, then that bull shark. It has been really cool. But yeah, I'm just gonna sit here under the stars, hopefully catch some more fish. But if not, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. So it's 5.50 in the morning at the moment. I just woke up. There's been so much action just splashing around on the surface at the moment. I've got my shark rod back out there. I think I went to bed at about like three o'clock or something and it's nearly six now. So I've slept for two and a half hours. But what I'm gonna do is just fish until the sun comes up, see what else I can catch and then end this challenge. Keen to see if we can catch anything else. All right, so it's actually 11 o'clock at the moment and it has been over 24 hours since I came out in this jetty. It's been a really cool time. We've had all different types of weather, caught all different types of fish, but all in all, it has been a really cool adventure. So if you wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna wind in these rods, go up, eat some Fruit Loops. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support and everything. If you enjoy these kind of videos, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again next Saturday in the next adventure.